CPL Industries is a leading manufacturer of solid smokeless fuels and has invested in the development of renewable solid fuels based on the use of biomass residues and waste streams. These new products offer an alternative to the consumption of primary white wood for fuels. The newly constructed Hydrothermal Carbonisation, or HTC, facility at Immingham was designed to process most forms of organic waste material into biocoal with moisture levels of up to 85% and a key feature of the HTC technology is that the feedstock does not require a drying step. An HTC plant can be built to manage input feedstock volumes ranging from 20,000 to 80,000 tonnes per year and due to the relatively small plant footprint requirement, HTC plant technology is ideally suited to co-locate with organic feedstock suppliers. Hydrothermal carbonisation is a process which replicates the natural process of material devolatilization that leads to densification of carbon energy in products like coal. The process mimics the natural formation of coal, but the process takes hours rather than millennia. It begins with the receipt of organic feedstock and a quality control check. In some cases, the feedstock material may require pre-screening for contamination before being loaded into the input hopper. From here, the feedstock is transferred to the feeding duct, where a solution is made up using recirculated process water. The material is preheated and ready to be continuously transferred to the reactor vessel. The organic material is heated to greater than 200 degrees Celsius under pressure and resides in the reactor vessel for up to four hours. The process combination chemically transforms the organic material into a carbon-dense product. The product moves through the outlet system where it is depressurized and cooled and at this stage it is a biocoal slurry. This slurry moves down a spiral separator to remove any physical contamination. The biocoal slurry transfers to the next stage of the process where it goes through a filter press. The biocoal is now a solid and needs to be ground into a homogeneous powder and it will then be put through a final drying process. The ratio of input feedstock to output biocoal is approximately 4 to 1. At this point the biocoal will be bagged and sent to other CPL facilities for solid fuel manufacture. If you would like any more information about HTC and biocoal production, please get in touch with CPL Industries.